So the velocity at force, at, rather we can say the velocity at t equaling four seconds, which is essentially what they're trying to find, is going to be equaling to the initial velocity plus the integral from the initial time to t sub 1. And uh, this would be of the acceleration as a function of time dt. And in this case, we're going to be integrating uh, from 2 seconds to 4 seconds. So we can say that first, the velocity is equaling the initial velocity plus the integral from t initial to t a dt. And in this case, this is going to be equaling the initial velocity plus the integral from t initial to t of 5.0 t dt. And essentially, this is going to be equaling we can say the velocity here would be equaling the initial velocity plus one half multiplied by 5.0 multiplied by t squared minus t initial squared, where here t is equaling four seconds and t initial is equaling two seconds. So we can then see that then the velocity after four seconds uh, would be equaling to 17 meters per second, which would be the initial velocity, plus one half multiplied by 5.0, multiplied by four seconds quantity squared minus two seconds quantity squared. And this is giving us 47 meters per second, our velocity at four seconds. That would be our answer. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.